I'm a little bit of a dick. I'm not that much of a dick. Alright, here we go guys. Going into map number two of this week's iCast, your freaking awesome replays down here in the bottom right hand side in the red. He's not fully got it together. He's a little bit jealous of his uh, colleagues' business cards. He is a true American psycho. I don't know if he's American or not, but I'm going to assume he is because he's uh, he's jealous. My man. My man. Oh, stealth with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Bolt Action Raven with a 25-bit cheer as well. Thanks, dudes. Welcome. Welcome. I'm glad you're enjoying the high-level commentary. Up here in the top left-hand side, in the blue, it is Bandana Noob. I don't know if this guy was trying to spell bandana, like like the thing, like like you know what you wrap around your head, and he was like, I'm pretty sure it's spelled Ben Bendenoob, Ben Ben Denen Ben Noob. I don't know. Either way, the name is a bit weird. He's going double gas here, and he's hidden an SCV in the main base. Ah. Uh, <laughs> There's some real fuckery that's going to happen here, 100%, guys. We're going to see some real <laughs> douchebaggery. Psycho, on the other hand, is like, fuck you, I'm going to build a forge, mate. Oh, this is going to be so good, man. We're about to see some real ridiculousness. All right, all right, housekeeping, housekeeping. Guys, the challenge here was backstab Billy. You are not allowed to attack your opponent on the front. These players had to attack from the rear. Speaking of... Oh, he sees him. He sees him. He's like, nah, mate. What are you doing in there? What are you doing in here? And Bander Noob's like, oh, I was just wrapping my band my band noob around my head. It doesn't work as well as a regular bandana, but it's much more original. I'm selling the $39.99 on Amazon. Get yours now. It's the new craze. SCV's going to have to fuck off right out of there. Meanwhile, back at home, he's getting into a tech lab. And uh, double cannon at the front. Psycho. What a fucking badass, man. I This is this okay. All right. Give us those cannons, baby. Give us those cannon psychos. Like, you know what? Most people think it's a one-man job to build a Nexus, but I like my probes to have company. We're going we're gonna to get three probes to work together to get this natural... You know what? I'm going to take the gases down here rather than the ones in my main base. <laughs> oh, this is, this, is, this is adorable. This is great. I'm, I'm really curious to see how this one goes. This SCV is still just hiding down here. I think we might see a, a proxy starport or something like that a little bit later. And he's got a Reaper on the way, as well as a Ghost Academy. Ooh, gonna see some form of Ghost Rush. I'm gonna give you guys a little tip. Doesn't work too well against Photon Cannons. Photon Cannons are pretty good against that. Um, unless you get a Nuke. I guess, I guess a Nuke does pretty well versus Photon Cannons, so... We'll see how that goes. So anyway, the players can't attack on the front unless they're also attacking on the back at the same time. So the whole point of this is you're meant to backstab your opponent, counterattack him as much as possible and tear them apart that way. Now, if you guys want to join in next week's challenge, it's a macro-focused challenge. So rather than giving you a micro-challenge, it adjusts what you have to do with your economy, and it is protect the ozone layer. You can only mine from one gas geyser at each base. Send your submissions through aeonblue95 at gmail.com. As always, cut those Vespine emissions by half in the Caprulu sector and help us protect protect the planets from those uh, those harmful harmful effects of that solar radiation. Speaking of which, guys, we have a siege tank on the way and an armory. Now, you know what an armory unlocks, right, guys? Do, do you know what... Actually, no, you can make a nuke without an armory? I think you need an armory to make a nuke. All right, I don't even fucking know what the armory is for then, man. This shit's crazy. Reaper's going to jump in the main base and like a, uh, like a crack fiend let loose in the preschool, he's going to start fucking up these uh, undefended probes. He's like, oh, yeah, just going to fucking shoot you all in the head, man. Oh, yeah, I'm such a badass. Mm, there's no response. You don't even have any fighting units because you built photon cannons rather than the stalker. The stalker's like desperately trying to build out of that gateway and the reaper's like, fuck you, man. He's just running around. He's got four kills. He's forcing all the probes off the line. The bander noob is, is kicking, kicking ass right now. These probes, they kind of move towards the reaper. They didn't really attack him though. And the entire economy is just going to go hide next to this shield battery and cannon. Uh... Meanwhile, Psycho Stalker gonna come up here. The Reaper's like, fuck you, man. You think you can fight me, cunt? And uh, the Stalker's like, yeah, I, th I think I can, mate. <laughs> um, so the 112-pound Reaper there up against the 300-pound uh, weightlifter that is the new Stalker. Got an extra 40 kilograms of muscle in the latest patch in 4.0. So uh, doing quite well for himself. Meanwhile, up here, guys, Banda Noob going for transformation servos or smart servos as it's called and a single Viking. So... 
I guess we're going to see Vikings transforming very quickly while nuking the front because he's building a nuke. And he has a siege tank. Meanwhile, I mean, I think um, I think Psycho is actually spot on with his analysis. He clearly understands the situation because he's going for the hard counter to this strategy, which is the shield upgrade. Because guys, remember shields not only helps your units, it also helps your fighting units. So he's going to get shields on his uh, shield batteries and shields on his single stalker. Uh, oh, no, two stalkers. He made two. Okay. All right. This game's heating up. The, uh, I, I'm not sure what the fuck they're doing, but yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, okay, 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 he's building ghosts now, I was like, is he just gonna build a nuke and no ghosts, he's proxy to barracks, he's gonna build a ghost next to his base, and then he's gonna come over, he's got, oh, he's got his little viking attack, going, all right, all right, I'm digging it, band of noob, band of noobs getting it together, he's got a real plan, man. Cheshire Cat says, yo, 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 how do we receive them replays? You do give them out, right? Uh, I don't give out the replays for Icy Fall, but I do give out my regular ladder replays. Check your Twitch inbox, mate. Uh, they, they go out about once a week, usually at the end of the week. So if you've just subbed in the last two days, they won't be there, but otherwise check your Twitch inbox. And uh, they'll be sitting right there. Another Reaper runs in. Once again, tries to fight a couple of Stalkers. These Reapers haven't quite figured out their own abilities yet. Fortunately for Bandanoob, though, the Vikings, they pop into that natural and they massacre the entire probe line. <laughs> and look how quick that transformation is with smart servers. They pick up and fly out of there. This is like fucking Tom Cruise, Val Kilmer, and their, I don't know. The, the last one is like Seth Rogen or some shit, but that's fine. He's, he's the comic relief. So anyway, I mean, you can see here, Tom Cruise definitely has six kills, Val Kilmer with four. Oh no, fuck. Actually, this has got to be Seth Rogen over here. He's the one that got punched up. Tom Cruise with six, Val Kilmer with seven, and uh, at the same time, there's a fucking nuke. There's a fucking nuke being called on, called in on the front. Psycho's like, fuck you, I'm just going to counterattack with two adepts and two stalkers, you dickhead. These Vikings are like, meow! They're going to come in. The cannons and shield batteries are gone. Psycho loses that. The Vikings flying into the main base are like, yeah, fucking get them, boys. They're going to just land instantly, dive into that main mineral line and start gunning them down. They're like, you know what? Let's kill that pylon. There's probes there, but let's get the pylon. It's probably the more valuable target. Meanwhile, adepts trying to get up here. This siege tank... Oh, it's too close. The siege tank actually can't get them. <laughs> it's going to have to pull back. Siege tank's like, ah, oh, fucking adepts, man. You little shitheads. Siege is up a bit further back and he's going to reject that attack. The stalkers and adepts pulling out. Meanwhile, these Vikings have run into that mineral line. They've got 11, 11, and 12 kills. Even fucking Seth Rogen here has a whole bunch of, bunch of kills. We've got another ghost down here. He's just chilling. This guy as well. He's got four kills. And uh, there's, there's pretty much nothing left for Psycho. He's been dicked pretty hard here. Hasn't really been spending his money. And uh, unfortunately, he's going to get overwhelmed here. Oh, the plasma shields. It was perfect, guys. The plasma shields is causing it to take three shots from a ghost to kill the probes rather than two. So Psycho's strategy kind of working out, except not, unfortunately. And uh, the siege tank's going to defend at home. Band of newbies. Even got a cyclone out there as well. Cyclone's going to say, fuck you guys. It's time to shoot my little mini rockets at you. One stalker goes down. Another stalker about to fall. And band of noob, uh, you know, just changing styles forever. Kicking some ass. Another viking in the natural. Oh, guns down. Another probe. There's like a single photon cannon trying to build. Psycho trying to build a stalker. He has a random nexus in the top right-hand corner of the map. And uh, this here has been a beautiful, beautiful game. Bender Noob with the smart servos, Viking counterattacks, the nukes on the front, and uh, he's just been he's just been destroying it, man. A sweatshop designed as a school. Yeah, exactly, guys. You're always wondering why I'm talking about preschoolers. Workers are the preschoolers of StarCraft. It's just you're in one of those places where preschoolers happen to sit in textiles workshops making the clothes, which we buy for like two dollars and go, huh, this was really fucking cheap. I wonder why that was so cheap. That's really cool. It's quite good quality as well. I feel like the craftsmanship is very good. The people that made this must have had very small, very fine motor skills with their small fingers that allow them to do this. Ah, it's, it's good, isn't it? I like the world we live in. It's very nice, very fair to the weak people in it. Viking and Ghost take down that stalker. He gets shat on. Let's go to Psycho's camera right now. Psycho here is going, hmm, let's build a void ray. 
And the Vikings are like, nah, we're going to kill that just before the Void Ray comes out. You know, you know, this is what we call blue, bo blue Void Rays. It's, it's not Blue Balls, it's Blue Void Rays. Just before the Void Ray pops out, it dies. Psycho's like, oh, fuck you, man. This Stalker pops out, kills a ghost, and he goes, yes, I killed a unit. Let's check that unit's loss tab. Oh, he's killed five units this time, this game. Um, as opposed to 67. Poor Psycho, man. Too busy worrying about... Worrying about getting those photon cannons up. Couldn't quite deal with the Reaper in the base. <laughs> Multiple nukes fall and uh, and ruin his day. And that's cool, guys. I haven't had a... um. I think that was like Silver League, maybe? Maybe Silver or Bronze, it felt like. That was actually a really cool game. Um, I love... I was like, is he going for a Ghost Rush? And then it's like the, the SCV got chased out of the base. He nuked the front, which is actually perfect against someone going cannons. But the, uh, the Vikings with smart servos, I will always, always love anybody that goes for that. That shit just makes me so happy. It gets me going. <laughs> That's right, guys. Just slowly making you feel bad uh, about modern world slavery. That's part of the job here on the Pig Daily. It's social commentary and trying to understand world economics at the same time as talking about a bunch of uh, imaginary units tearing each other apart. Let's go into game three, guys. This is going to be the final game of this week.